Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got a quick install video for you today. Uh, we're gonna be looking at the Area 419 Arca Rail with an Atlas bipod. And in my researching and planning for the Mammoth Sniper Challenge, I realized that my AR-10 was fairly inadequate for what I wanted to do. At the Patriot Games this past uh, November in Georgia, uh, Byron B. Play was there. He's an army. He's a former Army Ranger. He is one of the co-founders of Rescue 22 Foundation, and he's got various dog training businesses uh, throughout the country. But he is competing in the Mammoth Sniper Challenge in January, and he brought his rifle to the competition and had it on display for people like me to geek out at. And I was going over it, and I noticed something that was on the bottom of the rifle. It's a uh, Seekins Precision Rifle with uh, Vortex, Glass, and the Laser Range Finder. But I was more interested in the Arca Rail that was on the bottom, and that is made by Seekins. And he had an Area 419 Arca Mount, or Arca Clamp, with a Atlas Bipod. So in um, kind of replicating that, I don't know if I got exactly the same setup that he did but uh, I went out and bought some products during Black Friday, got a couple things on sale, and uh, here we are with the install. So this is the frame, the hardware, the furniture of my new setup because the other one is the enhanced handguard. It's a little bit fatter. I don't really want it. It weighs just a little bit more, and I just wanted something a little bit slimmer. So uh, Aero Precision, handguard. I initially went with a 15 inch universal rail which wound up not working because I made a mistake and um, even if you had a place to mount it over here it's not flat. So um, I goofed. I returned that. I wound up getting this 12 inch Arca rail from Area 419. Uh, you can see the teeth on the side. You can see the four screws to attached to the M-Lock and you can see the four kind of guides, one, two, three, four, that will help keep this in place. And um, I actually have seven and a half M-Lock slots, um, this one literally being a half, but it's actually really nice because this will line up perfectly here and it will keep it really, really stable. If I were to mount it over here, it would be a little bit too far forward and I'm gonna be using a tripod as well as the bipod and I wanna be able to get the tripod as back as as far back as possible to kind of uh, even out the weight distribution. So I bought a bunch of products, like I said. Uh, this is the 12 inch universal mount. This is a barricade stop. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using this system because um, it's a little extra weight and if this is on the rail, it won't allow me to get that tripod as far back as I would like if I'm going to use it. I'm going to ask a couple of people and see if um, we shoot a lot off of barricades. If we do more barricade shooting versus tripod, if we do more tripod shooting, I'm definitely going to leave that at home and do just the tripod mount. So this is the Arca clamp from Area 419. Um, it's twist, spring-loaded really really amazing quality you could see the three pins that are in here if you're not using an area 419 rail um, you would take those pins out but since i am we don't have to worry about that and then you can just hear the engagement you can kind of see my hand moving too but it's really really good engagement and it's you know, you slap it and you say it's not going anywhere, it's not going anywhere. And then the last piece I got is an Atlas bipod. Um, this is the BT46NC, no clamp. I wound up buying this, it was in the blemished section. And I mean, I'm gonna be rucking with this. It's gonna be in my backpack. We're gonna be doing quick PRS shooting. It's going to get used. So I don't know why people just don't buy blemished products more. It's almost like buying it used from the company. But um, really nice bipod. I did a little bit of shooting with it today at the range. And um, basically how this works is this goes forward. We're gonna put our barricade stop on and then our Arca clamp. And we're just gonna line up the holes 
and screw it down. You only need two tools, two Allen keys. For this, you need a 1 8 and a 3 30 seconds, and you can do this entire install rather quickly. I'm not gonna overly tighten these down because um, I'm just not. And it came with shorter screws if you don't use this barricade stop. But as you can see, I mean, it took me 10 seconds to do that. And then what we're gonna do is, like I mentioned, you have these guides that need to get lined up and I'm gonna put this in the back. So you just line up and the rail comes with all the hardware. It comes with these M-lock screws and there it goes. And we're just gonna tighten these down. I'm not overly tightening these down again, like I said. And I went to the range earlier and I was shooting my 6.5 Creedmoor with this setup. I put this on the other hand guard. Come on, get in there, get in there. There we go. And I was using a suppressor and my follow-up shots were much better than with the Magpul bipod. I mean, the Magpul bipod has its place but on PRS shooting, not so much. Um, you could even say maybe this one isn't the best, but I'm, weight is important to me. So with that, we're just gonna slide this on. It's super simple. And just for, just for giggles, we're gonna slide this on as well. And we'll tighten it down. Now, yeah, it was good engagement there. So like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna use these two pieces because uh, I don't know if we do a lot of barricade shooting, but if you do get a barricade, you just slide that back to wherever the barricade is and it'll kinda lock it in place and it won't move. And if you want to have the bipod further back, you can, you move it forward and it's a really quick adjustment and it's not going anywhere. So quick and easy install with this Area 419 stuff. Uh, really, really high quality. You're not paying a super premium for the products um, compared to some other companies, but they make some fantastic stuff. Everything I purchased from them, uh, it shipped fast and it is just really top-notch engineering. Um, I need a new optic mount and I'm really waiting to see when theirs comes in stock with 20 MOA offset. So uh, easy install, uh, quality products. That's what I like. Buy once, cry once, cry once, buy once, you know, whatever. That's going to do it for this one. Like and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.